Will you continue to appoint people connected to the foundation to do work for your government? That sigh, a sign the Prime Minister is frustrated by the politics around the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation. We weren't partisan. We weren't um, promoting a particular vision. Also apparently frustrated, the leadership at the nonprofit that hands out funding to academics. Today, the CEO and board of directors resigned en masse, saying the circumstances created by the politicization of the foundation have made it impossible to continue with the status quo. It's really exciting to see it coming together. Justin Trudeau was involved in the foundation when it got started two decades ago in memory of his father. But he cut ties before he became prime minister, no longer involved when the foundation got a donation from this man. The Globe and Mail first reported the $200,000 pledge was an attempt by officials in Beijing to influence Trudeau, though his team says he knew nothing about it. The politics don't stop there. It's a nonpartisan organization whose mission... Morris Rosenberg was the head of the Trudeau Foundation at that time. Recently, the government appointed him to write a report about interference in the last election including by China. That led to this. He hired the former CEO of the same Trudeau Foundation that had received the money from China to write a report about it. Plus, the former Governor General Trudeau appointed to advise him on foreign interference is also a member of the foundation. While the Conservatives declined our interview request, the resignations led Polyev to tweet, we need to investigate the Beijing-funded Trudeau Foundation. The Prime Minister accused the Conservatives of attacking nonprofits for their own political gain. It is a shame to see the level of uh, toxicity and political polarization uh, that is going on in our country these days. Uh, but I am... So, Catherine, what now? Well, Adrian, obviously the foundation wants to turn the page. Some academics involved told us that they only learned about these resignations today when we did. They're still trying to figure out what it all means. And I suppose what it means politically, too. Yeah, well, we did. You heard at the beginning of the piece there, we asked the prime minister if this politicization would stop him from making appointments with ties to the foundation. He didn't really answer that question directly. But his chief of staff will be facing some tough questions soon. Katie Telford is taking MPs' questions at committee on Friday, talking about who might have tried to mess with Canada's elections. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. Catherine Kellen, Ottawa, thank you. You're welcome.